Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video. Um, this is an old, rare Nirvana shirt. Um, personally, this was actually the first Nirvana shirt I ever owned. I used to wear it when I was 13, all the time. But um, now we know that this picture on the shirt is actually a prophecy. A prophecy that we know very little about. <clears throat> so I want to discuss it. So obviously... We see the seahorses, um, and we see seeming like another planet and uh, fragmented light, other worlds. So basically what I'm trying to say here is what I know this prophecy represents is, you know, what we read of in the book of Enoch. When, when Zion gets established in New York, for example, um, it's going to be about people coming together. Um, we read this in the Mormon Apocrypha that we don't have available anymore, but this is something the Lord showed me specifically. Um, even, you know, the holy people from other worlds are going to be coming together at New York and interbreeding together. And so, you know, we understand the seahorse um, scenario and the messianic seed line and that whole conspiracy, um, if you're following the story. But... I don't know why there are, why are there two seahorses, one on the left, one on the right. Maybe, maybe, you know, this story is happening in another universe somewhere or something like that. We don't know. Um, we see little seahorses looking at the larger ones. I think that means generations upon generations. That's exactly what the prophecies say. Um, I know it's really a mystery, and I haven't found any answers in Kurt's writings or. But this is what this prophecy is about. It is a mystery. Why are there two seahorses? Um, that's what's really mysterious. Like, I, I don't know. Um, but I wanted to share this. It's pretty cool. And, you know, if, the, if there is anyone listening that's interested, oh, you know, you wicked out there that are just drooling, how could I rape and pillage this? Um, you know, they're not going to be around for this. So, um you know, I, I refer to the lyrics of Downer. Holy now is restitution to live out your day of fusion. Okay? So if you decide to be wicked, the righteous are going to be redeemed and are going to live a thousand years and you're going to be stuck in your 190, 70 year lifespan. You're all going to die out eventually. So um, this goes beyond you if you decide to be wicked. So whatever. Um... Yeah, so this is a really interesting prophecy which remains a mystery. Um, this is all I know, but I just wanted to share it. Really cool. All right, thank you for tuning in. God bless you.